Hello guys. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is your host Nazar. Today we'll understand the concept of access specifiers or access modifiers. Watch this video completely to understand the concept clearly. If you are new to my channel, consider subscribing so that you don't miss upcoming videos. I have made related videos on the concept of C++. Check the description for the link which will be helpful for you to understand the concept clearly. Let us understand what are access specifiers. Access specifiers or access modifiers are the keywords in C++ which follows the concept of OOP object oriented programming language that defines how the members which includes data member and member functions or attributes and methods of a class can be accessed. This is just like granting permission for data member and member function which has to be accessed from inside the class, outside the class or from some other class. Access specifiers are a specific part of programming language used to facilitate the encapsulation of components. Encapsulation is nothing but combining data member and member function into a single unit which is called data encapsulation. Access specifiers are used for determining or setting the boundary for the availability of the class members that is data member and member function beyond that particular class. The class members are grouped into sections like private, public and protected. These keywords are called access specifiers which define the accessibility or visibility level of class members. Now let us check the types of access specifiers in C++. In C++ we have three types of access specifier that is private, public and protected. This is the common set syntax to define access specifiers within the class. Now in this example class XYZ consists of three access specifiers that is private, public and protected and data member and member functions are defined in particular private, public and protected access specifiers. We can define both data member and member function under a single category or separately also. Check this table where it clearly shows how the data are accessed using private, public and protected. If you are defining data member and member function under public access specifiers, it can be accessed from anywhere inside or outside the class. In case if you are declaring data members and member functions under private, which can be accessed only by that class member only, it cannot be accessed outside the class. That is no direct access from outside the class or other class members. If you are defining data member and member function under protected access specifier then you cannot access from outside the class but this can be accessed by using friend function and inheritance. Only protected data member can be accessed using friend function or inheritance. Private cannot be accessed and public can be accessed from inside the class as well as outside the class. Now let us understand private access specifier. Private access means a member data or you can call it as data member can only be accessed by the member functions. Member function declared under private are accessible only within that class. If access specifier is not declared by default it is considered as private. You can check the example for declaration of private access specifier. 
The second type of access specifier is public. Public access means that member can be accessed by any function outside the class also. The keyword public identifies both class data member and member function that constitutes the public interface for the class. Consider this example where int length and width is not given any type of access specifier. In this case, the default access specifier that is private will be accessed. And the second for member functions that is for get data and display we had declared in public. So get data and display can be accessed inside the class and from outside the class also. In a C++ program consider this example where day, month, year is declared under private void date is declared under public and void date can be accessed outside the class the third type of access specifier is protected in this type the members which are declared using protected can be accessed only by the member functions that is by the same member function of the class or it can be accessed using print functions and also by member functions derived from this class using the concept of inheritance the member cannot be accessed from outside the class protected access specifier is almost similar to private access specifier consider this example which is based on inheritance where we have two classes first is class parent and second is class child under parent class we have access specifier protected under which we have declared data member id underscore protected the second class we have member function set id and display id under set id we are assigning the value id protected equal to id and we are displaying the same id protected as output before starting the second class we are linked class child colon public parent this means public parent is related to class child the value of parent is being inherited from parent to child class using the concept of inheritance in class parent as the id protected we are using the same value is been assigned to id of class child which shares the same data using void main when we are calling class obj obj dot set id which is declared under child and obj display which is declared under child and the value 81 which will be assigned from parent to child this is a concept of inheritance and the concept of using protected access specifier with the value of protected access specifier being used outside the class overall we can say access specifier helps in controlling the access of data member and member function associated with the class by using three access specifier keywords private public and protected Conclusion Access specifiers are used to control the access of data member and member function inside and outside the class. Using class public access specifier, class members declared as public can be used any function and in any class. For the data member declared under public, are accessible from inside as well as outside the class.
the data member and member function which are declared under private access specifier cannot be accessed or viewed from outside class. Class members declared as private can be accessed only by the members of the class. The data member and member function declared as protected can be used by member functions and friends that is class or functions of the class. Additionally, they can be used by classes derived from other classes that is the concept using the concept of inheritance. So this was the overall concept of access specifier. Hope this video was helpful for you. Thank you. If this video has helped you to understand the concept, consider subscribing so that you don't miss upcoming videos. Check in the description as I have given link of other related videos. Thank you.